Welcome to a Wonder Open Roads product review. Hi, I'm Miko. And I'm Robin. And we're Wonder, Wonder Open, Open Roads. Roads. So as you know, we, we have a, a Class C and we also have a Can-Am Spider. So everyone wants to know about the setup and just how we how we trailer it, how we how we get it to the different destinations. So we decided to do a video on it. So after a bunch of research, we decided to buy a Stinger trailer. Uh, Stinger is a company based out of Canada, and uh, of course BRP, which is the parent company of Can Am, is a Canadian company also. And Stinger makes custom trailers specifically for Can Am. That, that is designed specifically for the three wheel alignment. And just to let everyone know, we are this is not a paid promotion. We are not being paid by Stinger to, you know, to talk about their products or anything. This is simply, you know, these are questions that were asked by our followers and we did and we're doing a video on it. So that's all this is. And we actually paid for the Stinger ourselves full price. There was no discount or agreement with Stinger at all. We really appreciate you joining us on this video and if you're new to our channel be sure to subscribe and definitely like this video we certainly appreciate everyone out there okay so after you roll it in place let's hitch it up so we did a lot of research and the reason that we selected the Stinger trailer for our Can-Am was because we wanted something that was light enough to be able to move around by hand. Um, we had looked at enclosed trailers. The Stinger trailer is about half the price of, of, of a lot of the enclosed trailers that we, were, that we were looking at, so that was certainly a factor. But the biggest thing was the maneuverability. Also, this trailer has the ability to fold up. Uh, completely uh, into it into a very small uh, footprint you can watch the videos online at the stinger website to see the full explanation on that so we like that flexibility we've never had to actually fold it completely up at a campsite but you know um, we certainly may run into that situation uh, at some point As you're pulling the spider up on the stinger ramp, it is nice to have someone kind of guiding you. It's a little difficult to kind of see, judge the alignment from where you are. So it is nice to just have that extra person. And definitely make sure that the trailer is attached uh, to your hitch already, because uh, if not, then then that, that trailer is gonna jump around and do some things you don't necessarily want. <laughs> Okay, so now we'll use these heavy duty straps here to lock the, the front tires in and then we will put the back ramp up and put the pins in. Nice and tight. So the trailer comes with these pins that just slide through the back. Definitely make sure that the ramp uh, pins have the cotter pins attached uh, so that the pins do not uh, come out. 
They do not give you extra pins and you certainly do not want to lose those pins going down the road. But if you do, you can, I would actually just have a couple of replacements because we actually have um, lost a few cotter pins um, just going down the road. So definitely have some extras. So as we're driving, it's uh, really convenient to have the rear camera so that we can uh, check on the bike as it's uh, as it's traveling, just to make sure that the that the ramps are still up and to uh, you know make sure that everything looks okay. So once you get to your destination, um, you know taking it down is, is just the reverse of setting it up. Um, it's really easy setup. I mean, this is this is. A process that uh, you know, is, I don't know, maybe about ten minutes. Usually, once we get to the campsite. Yeah, it doesn't take long at all. Again, make sure that you take the bike off before you completely remove the trailer from the hitch. Once you pull the bike off, it will kick up a little, and you don't want it to come off that hitch. So that's really just a safety uh, precaution. One addition that I did make to the trailer is that I did add the spare tire. The spare tire that you see that is mounted to the front of the trailer does not come with it. That is something that I purchased online and I mounted to the to the frame myself just to, you know, make sure that I have a spare tire, uh, you know, in in case of a road hazard which, you know, which happens. So, haven't had to use it yet, knock on wood, but uh, it's definitely good to have. It. And I would also like to note that we added some non-skid tape um, on the bottoms of the ramp so that if the grass is wet or it's raining or something like that, there will be some traction as we're pulling the bike on and off the trailer. Yes, that's, that's very important because those, the, not the front wheels, but the back wheel will spin if the, if the tire is wet. So yeah, having having some type of a non-skid type of surface on that on that middle ramp uh, is, is is definitely helpful. A link to the Stinger trailer will be in the description. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope this helps everybody out there. See you next time. Bye. Be sure to check out our selection of travel apparel at shopredsquare.com and our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description. Thank you.